Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at Grand Design's new entry-level travel trailer in their lineup. This is the 2021 Grand Design Transcend Model 261BH. We are going to take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're going to give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today I am super excited. We are taking a look at the Grand Design Trans N. Again, this is their new product. It's been out for maybe a year, maybe almost two years, but it's it's when it's their it's their approach to dabbling into the entry level aluminum sides, wood frame, uh, travel trailers. But also very aggressive price points. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? Good! Have you ever seen one of these? I have not. Let's take a look. I'm super excited. Alright, sounds good. You want to say anything to America first? Um, I don't think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, short and sweet, baby. I like it. Let's begin. Model is 261 BH, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this travel trailer is 30 feet 9 inches. The dry weight is 6,418 pounds. And Will, do you remember the tongue weight? I do, it's 618 pounds. Perfect, remember, always get weight distribution bars, y'all. Now, even though this is their entry-level travel trailer, Grand Design still sticks to what they know and what has helped them become Grand Design with a lot of higher-end features and upper echelon, you know. And, and it's one of those things where even though this is entry-level, it's in this class, it's still, you know, superior. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see about that. Um, but right here, we do have the limper component, power tongue jack. You push a button and it goes up and down. We do have a place for two 20 pound propane tanks. And then also right there is where your batteries go. Now look at this, even though it's aluminum, it's nice, it's smooth up front. And then you have the aluminum corrugated sides right here. But notice how- Again, it's just a nicer look. It's just a nicer look for being entry level. You have your black diamond plate rock guard there. Coming down the side, you have nice pass through storage. Okay, wood framing, not a problem. And again, also uh, manual stabilizing jacks. Also not a problem. They're putting that on their imagines and everything. So I actually don't have a problem with that. But again, as Will said, even though this is the aluminum sides, it's the bigger pieces. And I heard the bigger pieces means better quality than the skinnier pieces. Oh, really? Yep, that's what I heard. Uh, what we do have is these aluminum steps right here. Uh, they do fold up. Have a nice power awning with LED lights right there. Right here, you can have a hook. You do have hookup for a TV on the outside if you want to have that with power. Right there. Here's where you fill up your potable water wheel. Potable. Potable. And then check out these tires. Oh man, these are the Super ST tires. I love those. ST 205-75 R15. Love it. And listen, I, I feel like they went a little cheap with the rims, but it does kind of match the trailer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. And then right here, we have an outdoor kitchen. Here's a little refrigerator right there. I do like how it's held up by a magnet. And then this is your two burner cooktop. No outdoor sink, okay? You do have storage right there. And should have yep. a propane quick, quick connect right connect. under there. Coming around the back, leave that open, leave that oh, open. Okay. Coming around the back, we do have a nice uh, bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Here's where your water heater is. Here's a spray port if you want to like take a hose to like rinse off after you're done with your outside kitchen. And it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. Also no ladder. Is there? Nope. There's no ladder? Nope. Oh, there is a <laughs> ladder. You do have a ladder, but um, I hate that actually. I do too. That's the same ladder they use on the toy haulers and we do not climb up these ladders anymore. Cause I'm chubby and uh, we had some issues. <laughs> I wonder why they did that. I don't know. I think it's... It's weird. I think I know one of my first dislikes. <laughs> right there, we do got a 30 amp power cord right there. And I love this. Nice place to dump your gray and black tank. And then look at this. Well, you even have a black tank flush. Again, super high-end feature for an entry-level trailer. I love that. 
finishing up. There's a second gray tank right there. And then this is your other side. This is your water hookup, cable hookup, and everything. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. Well, Will, the outside of this uh, travel trailer looks great for what class it's in, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Take a look. All right. Bedroom up front. Kitchen area here. Dining and living area here. Bunks. And the bathroom. Great. Wow. It does. It feels really open in it here. It does. Let's get started with the bedroom area. First thing I want to touch on, I love the sliding pocket door. Yep. Very nice. Walk around bed, kind of. It is a little tight, but it might be me and not the bed. I don't know. <laughs> Queen size bed. We got storage beside it. Right over there. And then we'll have some storage over there. All right there. And then also we got some storage good. above. There is a place to mount the TV right here. And then, what's this? Yep. We do a storage underneath the bed. Very nice. And also, I like the windows just to help with some cross ventilation and everything. And I'd rather squeeze through this than have that type that both doors have to be closed to watch right. the TV. Okay. Over here in the living room area, we have a nice looking sofa. Oh, oh, wow. Comfy? Not just comfy, Will. It is comfy. It's a trifold sofa. Mm -hmm. It's one of the firmer but plush sofas. And look at this, Will. It is directly across from the television. It sure is. I love that. But first, we do have these blinds right here, right? Privacy blinds, nighttime blinds or whatever. And um, a light right there. There's not a lot going on here. No. Simple. Very, but 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 let me put it to you this way. This is very simple, but very clean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Very. Over here, we do have the dinette with storage underneath the dinette. Um, right there. Does this dinette drop down to make a bed? It looks like it. It's just kind of weird with the uh, patterns it's right a, there. It's a live edge. What's that mean? It's supposed to like represent like a tree that you just like... You could just cut it down. The, the tree that you destroyed yeah. and you cut down and it took from Mother Earth? Yeah. That tree? Pretty much. Well, I like the way it looks then. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you got a little bit of storage right there. The TV right there. And then a little bit more storage right there. Very nice. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP. On this travel trailer here is not bad at all. MSRP, $28,857. Wow. MSRP, y'all. Sale price, we cannot tell you because Grand Design won't let us, but sale price will be a lot less than the MSRP, and that's going to make this price for this unit really aggressive and really good, especially for like the higher end look. Right? I didn't even mention I this. Yeah, that is nice. You know, it's just very nice. That well, is a very good price. I in my head, you said good price, I was thinking thirty two. Right. I was thinking like thirty four. Yeah. To like discount to like twenty eight. Right. But we're starting at twenty eight and then we're gonna discount very nice. Well, there's four things people can do to get the best price. Why don't yes. you tell them? They can call, they can text, they can email, or they can FaceTime. Hey, three zero one nine zero six zero nine six two. Or Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or check out my website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get your official Matt and Will stickers. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Um, you contact us, Will and I, we will get in contact with you and we will put you together with one of our team members at General RV to help get you the best price in America. Well, let's continue the video. All right. I was about to say, that was like a hack that I've never seen. All right, guys. So in the kitchen, again, very simple, basic kitchen. Yep. But um, good storage. Good pantry or cabinet space here. Uh-huh. And these are nice, like, solid. Right. The, the grand design touch. Look at that yeah. sink placement. Yep. 
Nice big sink. You have room on both sides. Uh huh. It's not solid surface, but nope, nope. you know, again, um, entry level. Yep, entry level. It's like entry level with with a with a twist of grand design. I yeah, love it. Yeah, exactly. So drawers, more cabinet space. There and there. Drawers there. Very nice. And that's it. Cool. Cool. And All right. Look what Furion. they're doing. Fury on everything. Yeah. Look at that microwave. Fury on microwave. Range, range cover. Range. Yeah. Three burner Fury on. Cooktop. Cooktop. Yep. And, and it has the blue oven. light. Has the blue light. Ooh. Yeah. But but see, and listen. Well, we see this all the time. Yeah. But what we never see is the matching Furion refrigerator. That's true. That is very true. Very and cool. Everything is Furion. And drawer. nice big drawer there. Yep. I've never seen a Furion. I fridge. haven't either. I wonder if it's two way or. Uh, I don't know. Oh, compressor. Is it a compressor? I think it's a compressor. Yeah, it's already cold. Yeah. Yep. Must be. That's awesome. It looks good too. It does. See, Andrea doesn't like the wood look. I like it. I think it looks good. And these are deeper now. I didn't... Well, because because uh no because it's the compressor. Oh, the compressor. That's right. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Cool. And check out these bunks areas. So look, we do have a little bit of storage underneath the bunk, okay? We got a top bunk and a middle bunk. Lord knows I can't get on the top one. <laughs> nice bunk right here. You have a window, again, still like this. I always wish it was a little lower, but you can't because the outside kitchen. But what I will say, I do like how this is open. Yeah, and that is cool. Because I don't feel like I'm trapped in here now, yep. you know? Pretty nice. teddy bear series you know adult could sleep there not comfortably but you know comfortably enough and then wow look at this shower this that's an awesome shower first we got the medicine cabinet right there okay we got a sink right here a little bit of storage right there and then and then look here's another little place for like some towels and everything and then, Will, it's time for the tall test. All right. Tall test and then the toilet test. So, for those of you who don't know Will, he is six foot three. That's pretty actually, good. Yeah. It is pretty good, good. For, for, for what it is. For, what it, for an entry level, yep. I could definitely shower in here. And you have room this way, too, even with the door closed. Yeah, yep. I have to say it passes. Awesome. That's pass number one. And then, oh my gosh, is it porcelain? It's a porcelain toilet. Does it pass? Will, not only does it pass, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! Nice. That is insane. I did, I did not expect that. I did not that. expect that either. Well, as great as it is, Will, and as nice as it is, it, you know the rules. It's now time we give everybody Three things we love about this trailer and three things we... Oh, Will, we totally missed something. Sorry, oh, we did, yeah. And I was going to touch on this, too, because a lot of times I really like the islands. Yep. But there's just not enough space in here. But you get the extra cooking space or, you know... Yep. Lay awesome. out your, you know, food for dinner or whatever there. And as I was saying, it's now time to give everybody three things we love about this trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will... What do we do foist? Three things we dislike. Okay. I have two on the outside. I have one on the outside. Well, I wonder you go if it's first. the same. You, well, is it a ladder? No. Okay. Well, then go. Mine are these steps. Dang it. You <laughs> took mine. 100% agree. Listen, I will say this. These steps are a lot better than those black steps that Definitely. were real heavy. Yeah. But again, everybody should be going to the... Uh, Lipper component solid steps or yep. the more ride solid steps or whatever. Even entry level, I'll pay the extra whatever, 100 bucks. It, no, it's about 300, but 100% worth it. Yep. Dang, Will. Okay. So that's one. Two. I'm going to say I hate, 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 hate this ladder. I don't know why they did that. As much as I hate this ladder, I understand why they do it for toy haulers because there's a ramp yes, door. I don't right? understand there's a why ramp they did it door. Here. There's no ramp door. Why would you put that ladder on? Really stupid move. Don't like that at all. Don't like it at all. So that's two. 
And then three? Do we? Here's what I'm gonna say. I don't like this. I don't like the wheels. Yeah. You know, they're kind of cheap looking. They did such a great job. You know, I just feel like they kind of like rushed this and like, you know what Well, I'm here's saying? what I'll add to that is their lion's head, which, is, which are actually pretty decent. Usually they have like a one year, no excuse guarantee, two year or something like that, roadside assistance. Um, so, you, I mean, they're supposed to be pretty good tires, but I agree, they just look like. Just something about, like, even if they are good tires, some yeah. of the appearance, I'm just not, not I'm not finding I agree. that I like. Yeah. Cool. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Let's go around to the other side, Will. One of my old bosses always said, perception's reality. There you go. <laughs> um, here's what I like. Uh, the, the hookups are great. And I do like how everything's right here. Yes. Easy to get to. And I love how there's a black tank flush. Yep. Super nice, very important. Nobody wants to be laying on the ground getting crap on their knees. You know, so so I really like that feature. So that's one. Mine's Two. on the inside. Well, let's go on the inside then. All right, definitely this bathroom. It's entry level, it's basic, and it's small, but for the amount of space they worked with, they made every inch little, count. Every inch count, yeah. Yep, 100%. And I mean, they just laid it out perfectly. They nailed it. Yep, nailed it. it. Awesome. <laughs> And then number three, here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say this layout in the windows. This is a small trailer, y'all. But for some reason, I don't know if it's the layout or if it's the windows or if it's everything. It feels like wide it open does. spaces. It feels good. This feels good. It feels like I'm not in a tiny travel trailer. Yes. And I absolutely love that. Uh, just just really great. And I, I you know, I'm going to add a fourth thing. You know why, Will? It's this match or reason we can do that. <laughs> I like the way the exterior looks. Yeah. I think it looks good for an entry-level trailer. Uh, no disrespect to the other entry-level trailers, but this is one of the best I ones I've seen. I agree. Yeah, we should have touched on that. I yep. mean, for being, you know, the aluminum siding. Yep. It looks good. It does. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this grand design, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962, that's, that's my personal cell, or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com. You can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers, bing, and will too, bing. Um, but not only that, there's a contact us page. You contact us, Will and I will get back to you. We will then, if you're ready to buy one of these, get you in contact with one of our partners at General RV to help get you. The best price in America. Perfect, and in a few seconds, if you like this uh, grand design and you wanna see other grand designs, we'll have a video up there. Or if you wanna see competition to this grand design, we'll have a video right there in just a few seconds. Will, do you have anything you wanna say? Sure. Talk to me. All right, thanks for watching guys. Again, grand design definitely hit the nail on the head with a lot of key components on this trailer. Um, hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure to leave in the comments what you guys liked about it, what you didn't like about it, and we'll see you next time. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And as you guys can see, we have two videos right here for you to check out. Thanks so much, Will. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.